Hello, I am Umber Nero, and welcome to Umber Nero's Life. Today's video is my November 2023 plan with me. So, starting where I normally do, with our monthly calendar. This month, I wanted to do a different theme that I had not seen before. So, I tried to do a theme like the Nazca Lions down in Peru. And I knew there wasn't going to be much color with that theme. So, to add color to it, I actually referenced some Yu-Gi-Oh cards that are based off of some of the same lines. And that helped me come up with which ones of the Nazca lines to recreate in my journal and to give little pops of color here and there. So like usual, I started out with a lot of my line work and this time I started with my header right away because I wanted to have a lot of my pen work done so that way I didn't have to worry about it later. Then I started drawing some of the geometric designs that have been done in Peru. And this was a quick, easy one I found for the cover page here. Then came adding my key. And this is where some of the colors that I decided I was going to use start showing up. This month I didn't really care about having the extra white space in the calendar, so I just wrote the numbers of the month big and bold. So I did a quick erasing of some pencil lines and then here is where I ended up making the biggest mistake with the spread that I could have. I took some of my distress ink since I don't have a tan distress ink. I was trying to mix one using two different colors I had and it kind of was the color I was looking for, but a little too vibrant. And I also made the mistake of adding water right to the distress inks as well. And this was probably the biggest mistake I did the entire time in this spread was here on the cover page is I didn't test in a small area. I went right for it and it did not turn out exactly how I hoped. Like I kept checking to see if it was bleeding through to the prior page and I only wanted a subtle little tan look around some of the lines, but that didn't happen using the color combination I had created. So I just kept adding a little more here and there throughout the cover page and ended up coming in with my lighter tan Tombow just to fill it in a little more so that way it didn't look as spotty as it did here. If I could redo this page, I would do so in an instant, but this is what I have to work with. The last thing I ended up doing on my cover page is adding some washi tape in the center just to 
give the pages a nice clean break instead of having a white gap between. Now I was on to the monthly log and the first Nazca line that I decided to do here was the monkey as it is one that is also represented in the Yu-Gi-Oh game and series with a card and the color that usually is with this line is yellow, but yellow would not show up as a good outline color. So I went, outlined it in black, and then I ended up giving it yellow highlights by the lines, and then I just did a little tan around the outer edge of it just to give it a little bit of that sand feel nearby. And my monthly log for this month is a little smaller than last month, but I think it should be big enough for what I need this month, considering there's a lot of days right where I don't have work because of holidays, and I shouldn't need as many areas to write what's going on this month. But before I even added the color, I went in, added my washi tape, just so that way I have that continuous pattern that repeats each page. But no, I printed out little references of some of these lines so that way I could get them as accurate as I could and I traced them in just so that way I didn't make as many mistakes with how they look unlike some other pages. Now I was on to my goals and things page. So the Nazca line I chose here was the whale, which in the Yu-Gi-Oh card game, the card that corresponds to the whale has a very pretty purple color. So I was going to do the line work for the whale all in the purple and only the purple, but I ended up making a mistake here as well. <laughs> Good thing I'm not trying to be perfect, but I ended up drawing, tracing it out with my black pen and then just went over to give purple highlights. But you got to make do whenever you make a mistake, figure out a way to use it. And that's exactly what I did here. But this is my goals and things page, which should be utilized a little bit more this month. At least I hope so. But no, a lot of the line work on this page was very simple 
I just drew the boxes to go all the way to the edge and the middle line I ended up adding a little bit of a tan color around so that way I had that sand element included here. One of the things I was wanting to do but didn't get to was having a little bit of a glow behind some of these lines in the color of what they were, but I didn't have the distress inks that I would want, so that's where I just settled with doing it like this. Now was on to my content plan. And as you can see from the pretty dark traced line, the Nazca line I went with here was the alien or astronaut, as this is one that has many different names. And its primary color is blue. And on this spread, I was finally able to do what I wanted with them, which was very nice. But as you can see, I went through and did all of my line work that was in pen first. Using the content plan that I made last month, it helped me get quite a bit done. So I wanted to bring it back in a similar format for this month. Now it was on to putting my header and labeling what needed labeling here. So the last thing I did was giving the little astronaut alien his blue color. And this time I remembered to use the color to do my outline instead of using a black pen because I kind of wanted to have that glow. Well, not glow. I wanted to have that color be represented a little better this time. Last thing, like I have been doing on the pages so far, was adding in the washi tape in the middle to just have that continuous theme going throughout. So next was the weekly logs. And the first weekly log here has the spider as the Nazca line that I chose to include. But my weekly logs are very simple. Divided the page into seven equal sections. And I didn't really include much decorating within the days this time because I felt that I didn't need to.
So the spider card that is in Yu-Gi-Oh has a red outline for it. So that's where I got my red color. And it's just different. It's like November, you don't really think of spiders and that, but it's like, I've never seen this theme before, and I wanted to give it a little bit of creativity. So that's where I added the colors from the card game to go along with what those cards were based off of. And then was adding my tape again, and then labeling the days. So on this part of the weekly log, I chose to use the hummingbird as the line that would be represented here. And because it's one of the more symmetrical lines, I figured I could split it in half pretty well and have it right in the middle of the pages. So that's exactly what I did. And also, Tracing these in before even doing them came in very handy. But I had to go through and divide out the days of the week first, so that way I knew where they were in comparison to where my design element was going on this page. So I immediately went in and did the lines for the hummingbird and I used orange for the same reasons I've been using the various colors so far. But since this one was pretty symmetrical, sketching it in like I did helped because then I took up as little space as I could. So here is where I then put in my washi tape, which kind of helped fill in that little space and the lines still matched up, which is what I wanted. Then simply it was just labeling these two weeks. So on the last weekly log, I only had a small area at the bottom of the page to fill. So I chose to do the lizard here. And it was probably the second easiest of the more complicated Nazca lines that I drew. As it was pretty straightforward. The only easier one was the whale. And for the lizard, the color that it kind of represented was green. So that's where I got my green coloring from.
then was just the quick labeling of that last couple days of November. And adding the washi tape. So the last area was then doing my reflection page. And at the end of this little clip here, my battery died. So that's why you don't see all of my Nazca line getting finished here. So first things I did was all of my line work with my pen and labeling my areas for what I want to reflect on at the end of November which is the good things, things that need improvement, stuff for next month, and my stats. And this time I didn't fill the box in right away because I didn't feel like filling it in right away this time. But the Nazca line I chose for my reflection page is the condor. As in Yu-Gi-Oh! It is one of the stronger ones and is the final one that is introduced if you watch the show and it has a pinkish magenta glow so I figured having that be the final one here would be very fitting also it was one of the more complicated ones to draw out This monthly layout theme is different and I look forward to using it. Thanks for watching and until next time, I'm Umber Nero. Bye!